Hi everybody, my name is Lars Christensen and thank you for joining me for this week's CAD tip. Now, this CAD tip should definitely be in your toolkit and it's the direct editing. Now, direct editing was added a few years ago into the different CAD platforms. So it doesn't really matter what system you're using, they all have this direct editing. Um, and where I have found it very helpful is when you gotta change a model. So, you know, you model up your part and then you get the phone call that there's a couple of changes and that's where this direct editing can be a huge time saver. Now, I added uh, links to videos down in the description area for this video. So depending on what system you're using, if you're using Creo or Inventor or SolidWorks or whatever, you will see that there's a description out how you're using direct editing. But let me show you on the screen here what I mean when I'm talking about direct editing and how helpful it can really be. So we got a 3D model here of a fairly simple part and then we get the, the, the design change, right? So we gotta change these round bars, it's gotta go back five millimeters. And how are we gonna go about that? Well, we would normally go over to our feature tree here where everything was kind of like built in order. Now, if you're like me, you probably can't even remember how you did it. Uh, more or less, if you got the model from somebody else, you have no idea. So you maybe start, you know, investigate this feature tree. Now, what is neat about uh, direct editing is that it is a feature in itself. So if I roll back here, you will see that I have the round bosses right here. But I don't know what sketch plan they were sketched on or anything like that. But if I go up here and I hit the direct editing tool, then I can actually select the two and now you'll see that I can just move them here so I can put in minus five millimeters and if I hit okay and get out of this you will now see that I just made that change without having to go in and investigate with sketches or anything like that. Now with most of these direct editing tools you can also move faces so not just solid bodies uh, like I did here. Now what I love about this is that it put in a feature uh, in here in my feature tree, what means that not only did I very quickly make the change that was asked, but I also now have a history of it, right? So now if I go in, I could just right click on this feature and I could just suppress it or delete it and I'm back to where I were before. So direct editing is definitely extremely useful and you should probably spend a couple of minutes investigating how this works in your system and uh, I think you will find it very helpful to moving holes and, and different features on your 3D modeling parts. This week's cat tip was quick and sweet. I hope you enjoyed it. This direct editing tool is definitely something that if you are not familiar with it, I think you should just you know spend 10 minutes and just find out what you can do on your system with it. And don't forget we have those linked down in the description for uh, whatever system you're using. So if you're using Creo, or if you're using SolidWorks, something else, you can uh, find the links down to that. So I hope you enjoyed that. Definitely uh, don't hesitate, leave comments, love those. I will definitely read them. If you have any uh, tips and tricks or comments about direct editing, I would love to read them. And don't forget, if you haven't already, love if you hit that subscribe button up there, then make sure you also get the next cat tip video. So until the next time, have an awesome day.